Good morning, everybody. Today we're thankful for two things. One, thankful for Taylor's help. Miss Taylor came out and wanted to help this morning. It's a holiday for her, so she's got the day off from her uh, city job. So, second thing we're thankful for is that this tractor fits on this trailer. Look how tight it is. I actually didn't think it was going to fit. Trying to measure these tires is kind of difficult by yourself with a tape measure, but I drove it up on here the other day, tested it out. I honestly thought we were going to be in the position to have to buy another one of these trailers, or I'd have to haul this machine on one of the bigger goosenecks, which sucks because the job we're going to today is a small job, difficult, you know, to get the bigger trailer into, but this little sucker fits. They're just taking down one tree that's leaning on a shed um, from a neighbor, nice and simple, and Oh, I'm just all too happy that this fits on here. I measured it last night. The 12 might actually fit on here, but it would overload this little trailer. It's only a 14K. But Miss Taylor and I are going to get this thing strapped down, and I'm going to head on to work. about to take off look everything's chained down appropriately I want to talk about that uh, adapter plate for your fifth wheel rails to a gooseneck ball those things are pretty cheap it's rated at 25k uh, which I don't haul that much of this truck but uh, those things are very sloppy unless you modify them I will say that much but I am thankful to be able to use a small trailer to get this Kubota on there it, it's got a wide stance on the back even the front's pretty wide so we got lucky that fit but to talk about that little adapter thing back there because I've been real hesitant with it in the past because it clunked around so much so what I ended up doing was I welded to the sides of the pieces that go into the rails and then I ground them down and made little wedges out of them that way when it went in there it needed a little bit of force to get all the way down to the bottom and well she's difficult to get out but she don't really clunk around anymore it still has if it wanted to get a little weird huck and buck it could pop upwards a little bit but it's got those pins to stop that this truck's a lot different than my 5500 5500 you can bog it down and don't smoke the way it's tuned it don't smoke even on level five it don't smoke but this one well it's not on level one but shoot you just lug this one at all it freaking smokes well anyway back to the hitch i'd really been debating for the longest time about a flatbed flatbed would save the money of deleting those rails and putting in a b and w hitch It'd be nice to have a flatbed for a work truck because this is what this truck does all my trucks are work trucks so it don't even matter so but for those of you guys that have one of those hitches or if you're looking into going with one because the only reason I got those bed rails in there is because it came with the truck and uh, save a couple bucks and just pay I think it's like 130 bucks for that adapter plate slap it in there and you're ready to work hasn't broke hasn't cracked any of that stuff it's been strong it just it's built universal universal stuff is usually a little bit sloppy just so that it fits everything you know not custom but that little tractor that thing is that's riding nice back there that Kubota it's about just as wide I think it's actually wider than the 12 the skid steer the TL 12 Takuchi so man i'm just happy happy that that freaking thing fit on there it's really a thought like we are we gonna have to buy a bigger trailer for this thing so we can haul it around to smaller jobs i mean a wider trailer deck over bumper pole i think that thing will actually fit in the dump trailer though as well it's tight it is tight but anyway catch up with you guys at the job 
it's a small job, I'm not even gonna film it, but little guy. Boone made a buddy. Look at that big old dog. Big old sheep dog. Come on, look at this guy. Look at this guy. She's barking at me in there. That's my dad, if you guys didn't know. Oh, brother. All right, so last time we were on this job, uh, this house was being Airbnb'd, and the people got upset that were renting it that I parked out here on this private road, but I mean, access is for everybody that lives on it and or working on it. So, we'll see if they come out this time. That's bar oil. Use these straps, because they're easier. The lightest one's rated at 5,000 pounds. This here, temporary, I only drove like two miles to get here. But I'm gonna get some clevises to put right here. That way I can hook my chain in it or whatever, nice and easy, or one of these. So. For the weight of the machine though, I think I'm exceeding it by like, see that one says DOT on it, so that one's certified. The last time I hauled this thing, I did have chains. This is my weakest one. This one's 5,000. No problem though. They're just so much easier when you got a smaller machine. It doesn't require extreme amount of tie downs been doing this stuff for years with those so no problem bada bing perk of the gooseneck is you can have a shorter trailer see look the tractor itself uses up the whole spread but then you still have this loader arm and you can get risky and just float this out the front or make a device if you have a bumper pull to hold the boom up but if you got this, you got something to set it on. Freed up. Installed some traction right here. This will about kill you, it's so slippery. Go ahead and tilt this back down. Hopefully nobody comes and hits this in this busy road. Quite like how that was sitting. Don't need anything else out of here. Tractor's got fuel. What else? What else? What else? Oh, we'll grab Boone and hit the road. We're just doing, like I said, one tree. And they wanted it topped or the top chipped. So this was way easier to bring this with a little mulcher head, so yeah. I've never seen him take that out before, but hey, sit down, stay. We snagged this other little job for today, close it out. Brought the little machine and the dump trailer down here. Power company took down this tree for the landowners. And uh, yeah, we got one load loaded up. Use a little tractor to load all this. 
and we're staging these we've used pretty much all the bigger ones trying to use up all the big ones because we got to haul the rest of the stuff off so they just haul it home and grind it up but we got lucky and they wanted to keep these bigger ones for uh put alongside their road out here so people would stop driving off making ruts and getting stuck in the soft shoulder staging them up over here not my place but people from this driveway over here backing up off the shoulder of the black or the gravel here getting stuck yeah that'd be good We were guessing the first couple of these little rounds. You better come down here and push it backwards. It's supposed to be spaced a little bit. We're guessing the first couple of them weighed about 400 pounds. Uh, we're getting into five, six now. Looks like they're cut a little bit longer and these are just bigger in diameter anyway. That'll stop somebody from backing off over to the soft stuff in the wintertime. They just don't want anybody getting stuck. Headache. All right, okay, look at that thing. The last one, the butt cut. We're not taking the stop down. <laughs> it's deceiving though, look at that big old undercut taking off. Well, I wanted to back across this little bridge all the way over there to the mess, but look at this. You got these things sticking up, flat tire heaven, and uh, quite frankly, the bridge is too narrow for the trailer to fit on it. So we're gonna go ahead and fill her up like this. Just push the stuff forward. Extend the arm so they can see it. So we'll just push everything to the front so we get some tongue weight. Hopefully this works out. It would have been slick if we could get right to the job, but nah. Well, I got one load and dad got one load. I don't know what I'm going to do with this crap. Original bid was just going to bring the 12 down there and grind it all up, haul it to a spot with the blue guy that we just used. But I'm just going to dump it right here. I go get the 12 and push this crap back down over the hill or something, we'll grind it up later on. A little bit side hill. I don't really like it that much. Now if I just had a remote to drive the truck forward. Go Dodge. Eh, crap. Now I'll pull it forward. Run down there, grab the blue guy, take it back to dad's house, and then we're done for the day. I see the blue thing back there. Got her loaded up. Got her loaded up. There's the buddy dog. Left Boone at the house he didn't want to roll with. We're on the headset for you guys because before Taylor and I bought the house that we're in now, we looked at this house and we really, really like this house, like this area. Uh, it almost seems like pastures, cowboy kind of country around here. I don't, I think the cowboy kind of died in this area. Four wheel drive still. But. This house was a big time fixer upper and the price wasn't much less than the one that we got. We definitely did a, did a lot better with the one we got. But we came down here, I parked about where I was right then because going to meet the realtor, there was somebody, this little old woman sitting, it used to have a big open facial, kind of a front all glass. And there was one chair in there and one woman sitting on a chair in the middle of this room in a stone cold dead house that looked very haunted 
and I called the realtor and I told her that and not like four seconds later I look over and that little old woman from inside the house was right next to our truck <laughs> like 150 160 feet off but it didn't have a shop had a lot of work to do on the house that needed to be done but if you guys can see these pastures are out here they're real nice really nice actually I like that one out there pretty good and this they're still running cattle out of this barn a little bit of cattle I don't know if it's really profitable around here to do little bits seems kind of more like a hobby thing but yeah I noticed there's a this old kind of like a Johnny send it 12 valve it's actually not that bad of a truck it just got a mismatched door I see it driving all over town towing a trailer here and then horse trailer but come to find out it lives behind this old wall right here there it is it's actually real nice on this side there was another dodge would have been a nice little area but then we found out one other thing aside from it being a poor investment was that the uh the whole neighborhood was all a bunch of spiritualists not that that's a bad thing but kind of seemed almost like a cult or something so yeah, i don't know all right we got a problem so look at this <laughs> crap this broke the other day and it landed the front half you can see how it's crooked it landed inside the bed and i didn't know the two screws fell out this is a old windshield out of a gyro track that i fixed painted blue oh yeah come on baby and then i just self i didn't self tap but Come on, drilled and tapped and just put these bolts in there. I had three of them, it's been on there for about four years. I've been killing somebody. You know what? That's a freaking check this out. We're gonna get lucky. If anybody knows the truck, when I open up the door, every truck I've ever had, like one of these, I've had like 12, they all automatically unlock every door, except for that truck. So if you guys know how to fix that, let me know. I'll be, oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> this is what I use for the uh, speed binders, 14 millimeter. I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing back in there so we don't lose that bird. Oh, this thing's heavy. But anyway, I always hate having to have to hit the unlock button every time. So, comment it below, let me know. Think there's any other offers on that little lot? No, there isn't. I don't know if I'm gonna get it cheap, but I'm gonna just try to get it. The land value says 51,000, but I know it's worth more. I offered him a place. I'll give him a quarter acre. It says you have neighbors and they're going to complain. I doubt that. It says it promises to stay on top of the log. I just put them behind some trees out there by the pond. Ugh. Well, it worked out slick having this. All options in one. We could put the trailer ball in there. Did you want some hot wood? I should have dropped this by your house. Yeah. Premium firewood, Andy. Premium. Anyway, I got the pellet forks on the bottom. We got like the sawdust bucket, and then I got the grapple bucket on the tip of it there. And somehow it all stays in one little package and you can move it. I extend it. Last 
little bump is a doozy. I don't think we got another attachment for it. All we got left for this thing would be that little trailer ball. All attachments in one right here. Had you talked to that Karen lady about that moving her one pile? Of... Oh. <sighs> well, I got a surprise for you guys. In this video with some diesel content. There is transmission tuning in here. I don't know how that goes on a transmission. Hopefully you guys can see that, but we got transmission tuning coming for a certain truck. Uh, only one truck that I own can actually have a transmission tune. It's not even mine. But anyway, we'll leave you guys with that right there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Random all over the place. I'm going to head to... Got to get fuel. Go figure. Got to get fuel. But hit them buttons for me, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video. See you guys. Later.